Hey everybody, it's Amira. How are you? I'm back today with a vlog for Antivira Scrap and Craft. And um, if you saw my earlier box opening, you'll um, know that I received this amazing, fabulous collection from Authentic You called Fabulous. It is 24 sheets of 12 by 12 uh, paper, a uh, pattern paper. And I'm just going to go really quickly through. It's got 12 designs. Um, they are um, double sided. I love this. Double sided with a cut apart. So two of those. Cherries and more cherries on the back. Two of those. This gorgeous, um, uh, I don't know, collage sheet, I guess. Um, so two of everything dogs and this pretty pattern on the back um, girls on Vespas with um, scarfs flying and um, pretty asterisk pink on the back awesome awesome glasses and black so colorful glasses on one side black glasses on the other side I love this beautiful shade of like mint green and um, pink roses and square checkerboard pink on the other side. This beautiful collection of um, glasses, um, mustache, hats, vespas, um, bow ties, a whole lot of things. And um, old fashioned telephones on the opposite side. Um, oh, love this one. I, I seem to gravitate towards grid paper now. Stay sassy here. Two of those and gorgeous polka red and white polka dots. Beautiful. Um, this one, black and pink polka dots and checker black and white. So inspired by this collection. Um, gorgeous little um, flamingos and fan shape green on the other side love this um old style advertising and this interesting pattern on the back there and that's it for the paper pad i also have um and this pack of 36 authentic life cards which have a whole lot of um sort of retro retro style um uh sayings and um, um, images um, and not so. That's so cool. I love how some of the things so um, they're really cool just with that same um, palette. Change your outfit and change, um, change your outfit, change your life. Keep it sassy. La bella vita. All right and um, so that's that one and then I've got a sticker sheet here full of really really um, really just cool, um, so dapper, you go girl, that's good, and then, um, a cutout sheet here, so, totally inspired by this collection, and I thought what I'd do is I'm going to try to make some cards, um, out of this, I've gone ahead and picked, um, some cardstock, that coordinated with the colors um, on this palette taken from the paper pad so I've cut 10 cards that measure um, four and a quarter by five and a half um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, see what I can do um, I've got 10 10 cards here so I'm gonna see if I can make 10 cards um, from this paper pad um, I will use most of the stuff from this paper pad. I won't be afraid to use some of my other things if they go. Um, but yeah, I'll try to stick to um, paper pad and cutouts and stickers and um, life cards. Okay, so the first card um, was inspired by this beautiful image of this uh, really sassy lady. And so um, I knew I wanted to use it as a card first off, so I just cut it to um, the correct size. So like a quarter, leaving a quarter inch around um, on the black cardstock there. And what I'm doing is I am trying to figure out just extra little embellishments. So I ended up using that tab up there in the corner and used the back side there so that the sticky wasn't um, annoying um, 
me and the card and then I'm deciding whether the flower goes on the top or the bottom and I decide I think to put it on the top and um, yeah here we go so top there and then there's a little flag that I decided to put down at the bottom there so it says stay sassy love it and for that flower up in the corner there I did mount it up on some foam tape to lift it and give it dimension and this is how easy this first card was because you know the paper is just really good so really really easy card to make and it looks great second card was inspired by this um, quote from the um, life cards remember you're fabulous and I decided to use the black and pink polka gosh I love that pattern paper so um, yeah so I put that as the um, background and then I grabbed one of the other um, life cards that was just um, you know pretty plain um, so here it comes now and so with that quote I put um, just normal tape down the bottom but I did lift it with the foam tape at the top there Go. so just sticking it down now and then I, I kind of you can see there this the, the dimension um, I kind of felt like it sort of needed something there so I decided to put there are some stickers there that um, looked pretty good behind there so I put three and then I, I do end up putting that tag there as well you'll see in the end um, that there's a tag there that I felt like the card was a bit empty so I put that tab up there and I will put the tag you'll see in one of the later okay so now card number three um, collage one of the collage sheets had this great lady and she's very pretty and I love the camera there so um, I decided to use her and from the sticker uh, sheet I um, took out this um, go girl um, quote um, I decided to get the green to match the green on her top and then the green cardstock to put the stickers on so just making sure that everything goes good there and then I um, put the sticky in the back and that's how I kind of adjust it and then pull the stickers um, I have this thing with tabs in the top right hand corner I don't know why so put something up there <laughs> So go girl, and I did decide to angle them a bit to make it look like she's really on edge. And the camera on the side there that just like needed something, so that looked good there. Okay, so number four was inspired by the um, cut apart here, and it's matching paper. Um, just love this cherry paper, and then the lady with the <laughs> with the cherry pie. Um, so I'm just trying to match the color of the cardstock here um, pink for the paper or green for the stem of the cherries or blue for the color of the font on the quote and I think I ended up going with green in the end so just thinking about it and trying it out so here we go um, I did a fussy cut the side the left hand side of the lady's head there and it kind of made her pop out and then I think I do decide to, yeah, to take out that quote there and make it stand apart from the image. Um, and if you don't know, I just, I love to fussy cut, so sorry. <laughs> so I did uh, put a um, coordinating, or another piece there in the back just to, um, you know, differentiate her from the very busy background. Um, here we go. So yeah, so just making that quote different. Just making it smaller. Um, and then I decided to change my mind altogether and I made it look like um, she was selling pies, cherry pies. So I put her down and then I put that buy one get one free cherry pie and then um, thought that was really good. And then there's the quote. And then I decided that it just needed a little bit of a little bit of something extra so I took them off and I um, yeah sponged the edges and it did make it look so much better so there and on the quote as well and it made all the difference and then I just cut out fussy cut out some cherries and I stood them up on foam tape and um, yeah it looked really good 
So that was how easy that card was. The next one was, I just had to use this little flamingo guy. He was so cute. Um, so I, um, I love the striped teal and pink. I thought it was really good. And I love the glasses paper. That was really cool. So I kind of layered them up on each other. And there's Mr. Mr. Flamingo. And I kind of made him like a pocket. So I did only three sides with the sticky tape. And then I left the top like a top loading so you can insert um, a little note to your friend or whoever you were sending this to. And um, I ummed an odd whether to add something here. And uh, I didn't end up doing it on the top. I did put a little sentiment at the bottom there. And later on I do go back and put a wooden embellishment. Um, and I'll show you at the end once again how he turns out. But... This is how easy these cards are. The paper is just so great. Okay, so for card six, um, I did also um, pair up the life card with the lady with the Vespa and the matching pattern paper. Couldn't help it. Um, so just putting it to size there and um, just wanted to put a different paper underneath so that she popped out a bit. So that checkered, so you know, checkered flag on the Vespa. <laughs> No brainer, really. Um, so yeah, so I mounted her on the foam tape, so just to give her a bit of dimension, and um, just laid the uh, the checkered pattern paper down. I put it up straight there, but um, I think I decided that I, she was going to live a bit on the edge, and so she was going to go tilted. <laughs> Too neat. A bit, yeah, a bit tilted. She's going to live on the edge, and. Um, I stopped there, but later on I did add a little something, and um, it just needed a little bit something after the fact. Um, so I'm umming and ahhing, and I want to put that red, and I don't know, and I'm like, it's just so easy, this thing just finished so quickly, and I thought, okay, let's, let's decorate the insides. So I do start decorating the insides from here on in, and I use the quote with um, the Vespa, the good life, there at the top to tie in the front and inside of the card. And I did end up using the heart because it was sitting right there, but it looked really good. I mounted it on foam. And uh, yeah, that was good. Okay, so the next one is this cute little flamingo guy. I thought he was really cute. So once again, I grabbed the coordinating pattern paper and I flipped. Um, I used the other side, the pattern, the green, to match the flamingo green. And... Um, I just, yeah, did a little banner in the middle, and then I propped him up with foam tape so that he was standing in the middle, and I um, thought that looked pretty good, and then I thought, oh, I might need to, more layers, put some more layers on, so I um, grabbed some of that grid paper and added that extra layer just to um, busy background, you know, like I worry about the busy background a lot, so I layered it with just some plain paper. Okay, so plain paper there, and I think, yeah, that looks really good, so then I'm going to go stick it all out. Stick it all up. Double-sided tape. Um, I really didn't know what I was doing at the beginning of this, um, of this, um, you know, tutorial or this process video. I just, I just turned the camera on and then just let each, um, piece inspire me. And, um... Yeah, it really, I'm surprised. <laughs> you never really watch yourself, so once, um, yeah, that was the corners, and then the inside was really easy. I just chose one of my existing Project Life cards, and um, I think I grabbed a little sticker that has a flamingo on it, and I put it on the inside there just to tie the front in with the inside, and that card's done. Okay, so this one I wanted to use these cut-aparts that said Fab Life, and I love that piece of the collage paper, so I didn't know how I was going to tie them in because that background was really busy. So what I d did decide to do was, in a minute, I'm going to grab, um, I didn't have any vellum, or the vellum that I had is um, 
colored vellum and very busy vellum and it wouldn't go here so I do grab um, my pad of tracing paper and I, um, I cut it to size and I added an extra quarter of an inch because that's the size of my double-sided tape so um, I scored it a quarter inch and then I um, tucked it in behind the pattern paper so it made like a little um, like a like a leaflet if you know what I mean you'll see me doing it there so making sure the edges are flush and then I tuck it in behind and I just make sure with my bone folder that that's nice and neat and so it kind of gives you a separation from that busy um, background and so here I'm just getting some twine in and just seeing how it goes and I think that looks great so I go ahead and put that together um, I mounted that um, little life is fabulous embellishment down there on foam tape and then I just added um, a sticker flag that said fabulous so I think that turned out really good I love that one and for the inside I just I can't get away from this polka pink with black dots I just love it so much so I used that on the inside and just grabbed a relatively empty life card and yeah you can write your sentiment in there nicely and I think that looks really good matches the dress of the girl on the inside kind of she's white but this is black all right so then I had some leftover from the other collage and I brought in the rest of the pink and I really love this card because um, it's kind of a bit maleish, so you see the guy washing dishes there, and the typewriter, and the lady, and it talks about family. So I decided to use the rest of the vellum just to cover it up a bit, and I needed to hold that vellum down without putting any sticky on it, so I decided to hold it down um, with stickers. So you'll see now I'm just about to put that cherry down with the foam, so that's going to go on top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and then put my double-sided sticky tape on that. So that's going to hold the vellum down to that. So the sweet life, the guy's doing the dishes and he's come home from the office and I don't know. And then she's chasing her dreams on the Vespa. I don't know, this card kind of really came together. You know, okay, so everywhere I put the sticker down, I went behind there and I put the double-sided tape. And it needed something on the top right-hand corner there. So I'm trying to find a sticker. I think that was really good there. So once again, double sided on the back, and that will hold it down. Um, kiss my grits. And then down on the bottom there, it was sticking up a bit, and I thought, oh, I need another sticker. So that cherry on top was what I chose. And I always stick things the wrong way, and I have to unstick it. So. That was good. And then on the inside, I just grabbed one of those. So when they're working by day and washing the dishes, they go out at night and have dance lessons and have some fun. I don't know. I don't know how my brain thinks. So that's what I decided to do. And then he gets all dressed up and he's all dapper. <laughs> that's just what I was thinking when I put the card together. So, um, yeah, that's the story behind that card. Love it. Alrighty, this is my favorite one. I pulled out all my guns for this one, and it was inspired by that polka paper, and I pulled out my Prima Megan girl, and she is going to get that dress. So I stamped her up on just plain white cardstock. Then I stamp her up. Um, I actually ink just the dress part of the stamp, and I stamp that on top of the polka paper. Yeah. And then I pull out my um, Decadent Pies Prima Watercolor set, which I really love. And I'm not going to bore you here, but this is a good set for um, skin tones. Lots of um, creamy and beige and browns and light browns and dark browns. And this is a good skin tone set. So she's all done. Her hair is done. Um, and now I'm, I'm just fussy cutting the dress out. So she's going to put her outfit on. And using my fine tip applicator, just with my PVA glue in there. And she's going to put her dress on. And then the big dilemma. Is she going to wear pink boots or black boots? Pink boots, 
black foods. And I think at this stage, I don't know yet, so I just continue on. Loved that background. Really, really seriously thought about even cutting some glasses and put, putting them on, on her. But then once I flipped it over, I'm like, ah, I know what I'm going to do. Those flowers were in one of the pattern paper, so I knew right then and there that, that that's what I was going to do with that card. So I grabbed an A4 um, pink cardstock, and I... Um, uh, I did it in half, scored it in half, and then cut it at seven and a half so that she had just a quarter of an inch on the top and on the bottom. And um, I tried to just use the glasses paper, and I think that looks good now. Um, I might do another one just like that, but I did have something in mind, and I wanted to put that um, flower pink and green on the bottom, and then the glasses, and then the life card that says beautiful. Um, and then I thought, oh, it looks just so neat. I need to do something to it. So I did grab my scissors and I did distress the edges and that made it look really good, I must say. And then I also inked the edges with the umber. Not black and not dark brown, just a really light umber color. Um, so I got the glasses and I didn't distress them, but I did ink around the edges. And then I distressed that one and went around the edges for that one. And I I popped her up on foam um, tape and I did decide then and there that the pink boots were the best. Just to pull in all the pink from the cardstock and the pink flowers and the pink sentiment. And she just looked pretty in pink, so, so yeah, pretty in pink. So yeah, she looks good there. So um, I found this mannequin, a girl that one of my um, swap partners, I think it was Carrie who sent me this, and I fell in love with this mannequin. And I'm about to order a mannequin off eBay because I just need to make heaps and heaps of mannequins. So, and um, yeah, that's it. That's my card. All right, so now here are all the cards back again so you can have a proper look at them. Stay Sassy was the first one, and this was the inside. Okay chose the sentiment the same. Um, here's the one where I added the extra tag and some twine, and this is what I did with the inside of that one. Um, Go Girl, and this is what I did with the inside of that one. I love that. Um, Life's a Bowl of Cherries, buy one, get one free. I love this one. You see the foam there? And that was the inside. Just really simple. Um, La Bella Vita, and I did add a twine that, um, and that was the inside. The twine, I think, just added that extra touch, and there's that foam, the heart on a foam, raised. Um, that cute flamingo with the hat, Stan Tall, he's cute, I love him. And the inside looked like that with the little flamingo. Um, here's where I added, um, yeah, a little a wooden embellishment to the front of that one, and that was the inside of that one. Fab Life, this was a good one too, the use of vellum. Another Day in Paradise, fabulous, just all tying in together. I love that banner. Um, and that was the inside of, um, once you flip the, the vellum over, and then this is the inside of the card here. And then Kiss My Grits. <laughs> This is my favorite one. I love this. Chasing dreams while he's washing dishes. I love it. Um, yeah, kiss my grits while you wash my dishes. And, oh, you're so dapper when you take me out for dance lessons. And this is my Prima one. I love this one. Layers. And the wooden, the wood mannequin. Really, really pretty. I love that one. And the remember sign at the top there was also really great. And that was how I decided to decorate the inside. I loved it so much I made another one. Look at the cherry dress and the polka red and white is so beautiful. Look at her dress, really pretty. And then I also decided to use one of the other girls and she wore the other cherry um, dress with the flamingo background. And thank you so much for joining me.